Dermot Hackett was on his bread round when he drove into an ambush outside Drum Quinn on the road to Oma. He was fired on but managed to drive on another 200 yards before coming to a halt. The gunmen ran to the bread van and shot Mr Hackett again, killing him. Provisional Sinn Féin says he wasn't a member of its organisation. According to Dennis Hawhey of the SDLP, Mr Hackett's whole life was given over to charity work with the St Vincent de Paul Society. He says that while doing such work, Mr Hackett had been in an area where an incident took place and that since had been the subject of steady attention from the North's security forces. Mr Hawkey says his fear is that what he calls the unreasonable and illegal harassment of Mr Hackett by the security forces may have made him a target for sinister elements. The RUC say that Mr Hackett received no more attention than for any other person who travels in a van in the Castledurg area. Late last night in the County Down village of Cloch, two masked gunmen used a sledgehammer to break down the back door of the house where 35-year-old Protestant Charles Watson lived. They chased Mr Watson upstairs to a bathroom where they shot him dead. His wife and four children were in the house at the time. Local unionist councillors claim the killing was sectarian. Mr Watson had been in the UDR before joining the prison service from which he was discharged three years ago after a court appearance. The Reverend Ian Paisley says he had been left to pray when refused permission for a personal protection weapon. The RUC say he was disqualified from having one because of a conviction three years ago for assault. Meanwhile, in Six Mile Cross, County Tyrone, the Church of Ireland Archbishop, Dr Robin Eames, officiated at the funeral of Mr Ivan Anderson, the school headmaster and part-time captain in the UDR, shot dead by the IRA on Thursday. There have been three killings in as many days in the North. Dr Eames condemned them all, saying murder must never be allowed to become inevitable. Archbishop, but what I've got to say is murder is murder, and if you take a human life, that has got to be looked upon as murder. And as far as I'm concerned, my role today is a pastoral one, to try and bring some care, some love to those who have lost a life here, who have lost a loved one, and to say those things that I believe a Christian church leader has got to say. Are you worried that the violence could be spiralling out of control? Oh, we have lived with violence for many years. All incidents of this nature lead one to think about what it will lead to. I. I'm very concerned this weekend, but so are many others. All I am pleading with in the community is that if they think of this man that I'm burying today, Ivan Anderson, and they knew him, the last thing in the world that this man stood for, or the last thing that this man would have wanted, would have been any other home plunged into the sadness that his home has been put into.